Well, hello guys, I am Chitanshu from Dream Abroad and in the last couple of months, I have seen a typical type of queries in my comment section. People asking should they actually wait for the express entry draw and should they wait for their time that when they can actually clear the cutoff and get the ITA or should they actually go for the study route in order to immigrate to Canada. So in this video, we'll be talking exactly about that. We'll be uh, talking about various factors that might be involved in taking that decision. So if you're interested, stay tuned. I know very well, most of you want to come to Canada to settle here on a permanent basis. While there are two most popular ways of doing so, first of all, getting the permanent residency through the most popular express entry system, or any other different pathway and the second option is choosing the study route now if you want to get the canadian permanent residency then you need to have some international work experience let's say of three years or more in order to get the maximum points so all those people who don't have the international work experience maybe recent graduates they choose the study route by default now the study route is becoming a very famous option for all of those people as well who have the international work experience of three years or more. You know about it, I've talked about it in my previous videos. Even I suggested it to you guys that if it is getting difficult for you to get the Canadian PR, if you don't see the possibilities in the near future, choosing the study route option is a great way of uh, coming to Canada and eventually settling here. However, you'll have your own challenges when you uh, come to Canada as an international student. I'm glad that many of you have taken that advice seriously and you're thinking of coming to Canada on a study route if you don't get the Canadian PR easily. Now, of course, from the last six months, Canada has conducted the all program draws. So the wait has been even longer. And it seems you've got to have a lot of patience in order to uh, wait for an all program draw. So the natural question that comes to our mind is that should we actually wait for the all program draw first of all? And when they start conducting the all program draw, hopefully it is sometime very soon, then you should wait for uh, the cutoff score to drop to your level of score. So let's say if you have a score of uh, 468 and the draws get conducted, but uh, the draws are 475, 474, whatever, above 470. So should you actually keep waiting? Because eventually you might lose five more points on your next birthday. So about the first challenge when the all program draws would be conducted as i told you in the last video nobody can tell you exactly when but yes hopefully we're expecting that it should be conducted sometime very soon maybe next week itself but this month or next month whenever they get conducted there would be a next barrier that has always been there clearing the cutoff score so you can expect that when the all program draws get conducted initially you can expect that the cutoff score would be really high Something around 475, 480 is easily expected, but eventually, as and when they keep conducting the all program draws regularly, then the cutoff score is expected to drop and it could drop again to the same old levels of 470. Now it comes down to an individual profile. What score do you actually have? If you have a score of something around 465 to 470, you should be really hopeful that uh, if they conduct the all program draws and if they keep conducting it, then it is definitely expected that the cutoff score might drop to somewhere between 465 to 470. But all those people who are below 465 or I would say below 460, guys, it's time that we actually realize this, that you don't have a high chance of getting an ITA directly through the um, all program draws. Yes, if you crack in PNP, then it's fine. But if you if your score is below 460 and you're expecting that the all program draw would be conducted and you might get the uh, the ITA uh, you know, some someday very soon, I don't think it is going to happen because if you see the track record of the last two years, you'd eventually see that the score has revolved only around 470 in the last uh, two years or so. The last time the cutoff score was below 465 was October 30th, 2000. 19 and the last time the score was below 460 was 
August 20, 2019, almost two years ago. And since October 30, you haven't seen the cutoff score drop below 465 even. So yes, it's good to be optimistic, but at the same time, we need to be realistic as well. We need to realize that what are your chances of getting the ITA when the all program draws getting, are getting started. So I'll talk about three different categories, all the people who have got score above 470, all the people who have got score between 465 to 470, and all those who have got a score of 465 and below. So all those people who have got a score of 470 or above, you should definitely wait for the all program draw, I'm sure. Uh, next month or maybe after that, at least in, towards the last, uh, quarter of 2021, you should definitely get an ITA. So if you don't want to go for the uh, higher education for the sake of studying, you can actually wait. But if you want to study itself, then you can go for the study route. All those people who have actually got a score of 465 to 470, you've got to be very optimistic. Yes, there are chances that this score might drop again to four. Uh, between 465 to 470, but you've got to be optimistic. I say that you should keep another way open of a uh, study route in your mind. But all those people who are there, who've got a score of below 465 or maybe below 460 even, you should definitely, definitely should, uh, you should not waste any more time and think of uh, immigrating to Canada through the study route. Now, I know there are other ways of immigrating to Canada as well when you talk about the PNP draws. Now, PNP draws have been getting conducted in the last six months. So by now you would know the chances that, what are your chances of getting a PNP invitation? If you feel that your, your chances of getting a PNP invitation from any particular province is really high, then it is totally worth waiting for a few more months. But if you feel that, okay, uh, your, your uh, job knock code is very common, Let's say someone uh, as a developer or someone as a tester, I'm also a tester, so I know it's common. So, you know, if you think it that way, that your job NOC code is very common and uh, it's there are very less chances that you would get the PNP uh, invitation as well, then you should definitely go with the study route because that's the most popular and probably the only way that you can actually immigrate to Canada nowadays without having a job offer. So yes, all those people who don't want to choose the study route but have to choose it because the chances of getting the PR is very less. I would say the same thing that all those people who have got 470 or above, it's worth waiting. If you are in that range of 465 to 470, then yes, you're a little dicey. You know, it, you might or might not get uh, an ITA in the upcoming months. And also, if you feel that your score might be reduced by four or five points because of your increasing age, then you should choose the study route without wasting any more time. And all those people who've got a score below 465 or maybe below 460, you should definitely uh, think about immigrating to Canada through the study route because there are very less chances that you would get the ITA through an all program draw. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope that uh, you enjoy the content and it is informational and it benefits you somehow. If it does, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, any queries, please put it down in the comment section below. And yes, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching this video.